Greetings and salutations, DMs, GMs, referees, judges, game operations directors, and all other varieties of storytellers. This is your DM, Scott, and it's time for another DM Quick Tip. Well, it's the hero's journey this week on DM Quick Tips, and isn't that what D&D is about? The heroes and their journey? So let's talk about it. We've all seen it before in our favorite movies. From Rocky and the Lord of the Rings to Star Wars. The hero's journey appears everywhere a story is being told. The hero's journey format was popularized by Joseph Campbell, who was influenced by Carl Jung's analytical psychology. Campbell used the monomyth to deconstruct and compare religions. We're not going to go into any of that. That's, that's dry stuff. But how does this relate to the hero's journey? Well, Campbell wrote a book in 1949 called The Hero with a Thousand Faces in which he describes this narrative pattern. A hero ventures forth from the world of common day into a region of supernatural wonder. Fabulous forces are then encountered and a decisive victory is won. The hero comes back from this mysterious adventure with the power to bestow boons on his fellow man. Sound familiar? It should. It's all over movies, all over books all over anything, even the D&D table, anywhere a story is being told. Now, this has been the topic of many criticisms, but for the case of storytelling, particularly in our craft, being a dungeon master, this works just fine, and I employ it every time I design a campaign. Part of being effective at this is knowing what the hero's journey is and what the steps involved are. Hopefully, by the time you're done with this quick tip and its companion quick tips, you'll have a greater understanding for the hero's journey and how it applies to your craft as a dungeon master. The hero's journey is a model for plot points and for the development of the character, in our case, characters. As the hero travels the world or the galaxy, they'll undergo a transformation. This transformation will be internal and or external. The hero's journey has 12 points, Milestones along the way. Trail markers, if you will. So the first is the ordinary world. This is the world that the hero is presently living in. It's their norm. It's most often mundane. Sure, there are larger, more epic things going on in the background, but for the hero, their world is pretty, well, average. They are from humble beginnings, be it a moisture farmer on Tatooine or a hobbit living the simple life in the Shire. They are regular folks doing regular things, but not for long. In this step of the hero's journey, you are setting the stage for what is about to happen. The journey is yet to start. We begin here in the ordinary world because we need to first understand what the status quo is, what their normal, ordinary, and mundane life is like. What is the character's reality? This also affords us the opportunity to identify with a character. They are a regular person, just like you or me doing regular things. We get this glimpse of their normal mundane life and identify with it because it's much like our own. And that's important for the players at the table. That's when they really begin to become attached with what their character was doing and who their character is before the adventure started. For example, when we meet Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit, he's sitting on his front porch smoking a pipe watching the day go by. He is comfortable and very happy in his mundane life. When we meet Luke Skywalker, he's a farm boy farming moisture on a desert planet. Unlike Bilbo Baggins, he's not comfortable in his mundane life. He wants something more. He wants to join the rebellion and fight the Empire. But still, we get a glimpse of both these characters and are able to identify with them. The next step is the call to adventure. This is when the adventure really starts. You've already established the ordinary world. You've already established the mundane, relatable lifestyles of the character or characters. Now it's time for the call to adventure. This is about getting the heroes out of their comfort zone and into the adventure zone. In this stage, the hero is confronted with a problem or a challenge that they just cannot ignore. So how do you get them to this point? The hero can decide to go forth on their own volition. Maybe the hero or one of the heroes is a paladin. 
or someone dedicated to whatever cause is put forth to them. Perhaps the cause speaks to them, and they could get behind it. Or maybe your road begins when you start to see dollar signs. The hero can be sent off on their journey either by a benevolent or malevolent source. Perhaps their king or some other employer sends them on this quest, or maybe the mists of Ravenloft engulf them, and they have no choice. Maybe the heroes accidentally stumble upon the adventure and are now stuck, similar to Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Maybe your adventuring party stumbles upon a dying man who gives them a quest, having no other options because the enemies that dealt him a fatal blow are close behind. They take up the quest, and the adventure is now thrust upon them. Now that the adventure is upon them, they are committed. Will they rise to the challenge? Will they become the heroes they were meant to be? Now, there are many ways in which you can tell a story, and this is just one way. See you next time in the dojo.